project co-leaders Fajal Zini, Dr. Aliki and Dr. the former School of Management, former head of School of Management, and myself as project manager, and all the content developers in this we support uh, in terms of the uh, compiling all the modules for the uh, content. And also Hadawati who support on the uh, hosting and also uh, all uh, system related issues. Our hosting uh, platform. Here is where our uh, development of the modules begin, where um, we, we, after the approval of the proposal paper, we start to have a discussion uh, meetings with the TM Smart School. This uh, meetings and discussion is within the TM Smart School and also uh, the MTC uh, in order to schedule uh, on uh, the, the development of the modules. We have developed this uh, 22 modules in, by three phases. So uh, in this discussion, we allocate which uh, which modules we should be uh, developed uh, in each phase. This stage is where uh, take the longest uh, period to be done, where uh, we compile all the materials in terms of uh, the notes and also. Uh, the photos or videos, and we have uh, uh, several times meeting with the IDs to discuss on how to put all the content together, the flow of the content, and uh, what should be displayed uh, when the trainee assess the modules. After that, the multimedia de development, which uh, slowly done by uh, multi, uh, the TM Smart School, uh, they are using the multimedia technologies uh, to develop, to, comp to uh, put the, to blend the content together into the e-learning modules. We also have the voice over uh, stages where uh, the, the voice put into the, uh, the multimedia display uh, and it must, it must be synchronized uh, with the display. <coughs> this uh, process, the multimedia development process and the voiceover process may be uh, happen and may be repeated because um, maybe some errors for the testing. So the testing also can be uh, happen in several times until we satisfy with the production. After that, the content will be converted into the uh, SCOM 1.2 version and we are all, uh, still still doing the testing on the system, either uh, the, in terms of the accessibility and the display of the content. And after that, if everything uh, okay, we proceed with the implementation. This is uh, when we implement the blended learning after the soft launch uh, on last uh, June last year. <coughs> uh, we have uh, Jay Jose who is going to uh, demo on uh, demo to us on the uh, product. Okay, this is Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum and a very good evening to all. Okay, I'll be demoing the system, the uh, e-learning system for you to familiarize how to use it, how to uh, register or any module that you like. Okay, the website is at http colon the backslash backslash tmtc.tm.com.my backslash elite. That's the website. Your password, you just enter your password. This is your old trees password. Then you log in. For those who have never entered trees or changed their trees password, your default password is for double nine double nine. Okay. So once you entered the elite uh, website, you just click on the red button here. Check out our e-learning modules. 
Okay. So these are all the 22 modules that you can uh, register. So you can just request it by clicking on the right hand side, request. Okay, let's see, I want. I would like to learn uh, Internet Protocol TV, IPTV, number 13. All I have to do is click on request. Once I click on request, I click on register. <coughs> then you're done. Click on launch. Okay. So here, on this screen here, is basically all the modules that you've registered for your e-learning. So I have here, what I've registered just now, Internet Protocol TV and other courses which I've registered before this. Okay, uh, I'm going to show you on IPv6 Awareness. Okay, just click on the right hand side, Launch. Ladies and gentlemen, if you recall last year that we did the Code of Ethics uh, e-module learning, this is exactly the same thing. So each module you have chapters, different chapters. You have to complete all chapters uh, one by one. Once you complete a chapter, then the status will be keen to complete it. Okay, I'll give you an example uh, for this one here. So basically, for this is this is uh, IPv6. So they'll teach you about all the technologies of IPv6 and all. So I'll give you an example here. Community difference exists between the IP addressing of an IPv4 node and IPv6 node is an IPv4 node typically has one IP address, but an IPv6 node generally has more than one IP address. There are three major types of IPv6 addresses, unicast, multicast, and anycast. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, uh, as you can see here, compare it with your traditional book. You want to learn something from your book, it's all text, maybe a bit of graphics here and there, pictures, that's about it. For our e-learn here, you have full color animation, text, which you, is exactly like the book, and also voice. In any learning procedure, you have to use all media, all medium, all senses from your uh, sight, hearing, uh, if you have like in classroom communications it's even better because you have two way but uh, for this you have uh, covered two, uh, hearing and also sight. Hearing is also good because uh, it's not only just pictures, you have videos, animations which it stimulates your thinking of the whole system also the topic that you're learning. Okay, so at the end, I'll just forward this to the end. Okay. Some of the modules itself, at the end, you have options to learn even more. Like at this chapter here, at the end, you have few topics, 64-bit IID, global unicast addresses, Unique local addresses, those are all part of the uh, scope. So if you still don't understand what is it, you can click on the button. It will give you a full explanation. What is it? How is it? Okay, close. Okay, these are just a few of the features that is in this module, uh, is in this uh, tool, e-learning tool. On show you on this, after you completed all the topics, as the code of ethics, you'll have an assessment. You have to finish up the assessment. Basically, the assessment will gauge you on your knowledge on the subject after, after you've taken uh, the whole thing. This is also very good for bosses to see if your uh, employees are actually learning from this e-learning modules. Okay. So I'll start my meeting start here. So this one, I'm just randomly clicking on the answers. So 
So basically, most of the modules will have about 10 questions.